Hello everyone and welcome to the course on communication skills business communication this is Dr Mahesh Bishinde associate professor in english and communication skills KIT's college of engineering Kolhapur in unit number 1 2 and 3 we have seen let us take the review of uh, first three units unit 1 importance of communication origin and definitions lesson number 2 characteristics of communication levels of communication and lesson number 3 elements of communication communication cycle communication process the fourth lesson lesson unit number 1 lesson number 4 deals with the methods of communication verbal and non verbal but this in lesson we'll focus on the verbal method of communication the objectives are understand differences between verbal and non verbal ways of communication understand differences between oral and written communication so let us move ahead and see the types or the methods of communication broadly speaking there are two types communication takes place either in verbal way or in non verbal way now what is verbal what is non verbal we will see verbal communication includes oral and written communication whereas non verbal communication includes various parts so talking about the definitions in simple terms verbal communication is the communication with the help of words and non verbal communication is the communication without help of any words but with the help of some signs signal symbols graphs charts and so on so that is verbal and non verbal communication verbal includes oral and written communication whereas non verbal communication is a huge term and it is a very very huge area of research and it includes varieties of things like appearance that is your over decoration decoration kinesics that is your body language gestures postures facial expressions oculistics study of eye contact haptics study of touch then uh, we have proxemics study of distance chronomics study of time paralinguistics tone pitch voice intonation etc some others like sign signal symbols charts and so on and the silence so we are going to discuss about non verbal communication in very detail in our next lessons so let us focus today in this lesson on verbal communication so here is a reflection spot for you just pause the video and answer the following questions can you differentiate between verbal and non verbal methods of communication second whether written communication is verbal or non verbal just pause the video and resume once you are ready with your answers either in your mind or written in the notebook so i hope you have got the answers so the difference between as i told verbal and non verbal is verbal communication is with the help of words communication with the help of words and non verbal is without using words but by using some pictures signal symbols charts and so many other non verbal aspects and most of the time we get confused with written communication we think that written communication is a non verbal communication uh, why is it so because we are taking verbal communication means just oral communication but no as we have seen previously verbal communication is both oral and written and that is why written communication is a verbal way of communication so let us see those uh, forms of verbal communication simply defined communication with the help of words most of the time it is misunderstood as oral communication that is only speaking but it it includes spoken as well as written communication so oral communication of this verbal let us say oral communication the examples or the forms day to day face to face communication telephonic conversations news on television radio fm videos and podcasts on all electronic media and social networking platforms seminars conferences group discussions presentations lecturing like this everything is the example of oral communication written communication print media newspapers magazines books etc text messages on all social media networking platforms for example whatsapp facebook instagram linkedin twitter and so on official correspondence like business letters reports proposals notices curriculum etc all these are the examples of written communication now the examples let us see the examples of verbal communication <coughs> now even if we uh, in next lesson we are going to see that non verbal communication is most important but we in that we should not underestimate the importance of verbal communication also because 
of course you must have heard about this particular saying the words are weapons they can heal or they can kill we have to use the words very carefully now we need to understand the difference between oral and written communication in professional business context and understand which has more weightage and which has more uh, you know uh, legal validity in professional context oral or written in from verbal oral or written so that difference we are going to see ahead so oral communication and written communication the first difference is oral communication is very fast it is faster whatever i would like to communicate i can immediately communicate to you but written communication is time consuming it will take some time for me to type the message or make the notice and send it to you so oral communication is faster written communication is time consuming second difference is oral in oral communication if there are any mistakes the mistakes can be corrected immediately you must have observed that i am making some mistakes some grammatical mistakes or uh, some constructional mistakes so i am immediately correcting those mistakes so that uh, the correct message is uh, provided to you so in oral communication we the mistakes can be corrected immediately but if it is written communication it will take time for example i have typed something and i have sent after some time i come to know again i have to retype and send or a notice is there if there is any mistake then i have to redraft the notice and send fortunately on whatsapp you must have uh, observed that these days we can uh, delete the message for all or even we can uh, uh, edit the message if you are sent and in a message you have uh, you know sent one wrong thing a date or a time or a word or a spelling mistake immediately you can edit and you can uh, rectify that so still oral in oral communication it is fast to do it but in written communication it will take some time next difference major difference is oral communication is flexible i can change my talk i can change my speech as per the need of audience as per the need of uh, the time and the occasion but in written communication it is inflexible it is rigid we have to follow some particular pattern so when we are speaking we may change our beginning our end middle sometimes we may ask questions but if it is oral notice i have to follow the draft a later i have to follow the uh, the given format then only it will become successful then next difference is oral communication this is the biggest difference and very important difference oral communication has less or no legal validity but written communication has more legal validity that is if you are promising something orally nobody will believe but if you want to take the promises from someone confirmly you have to take it in return that's why we know when general communication also we uh, say to each other when your friends are uh, saying something or betting about something you say can you give me in writing give me in writing then i will believe that is written communication has more legal validity than the oral communication oral communication promises and all that may be denied in uh, future when legal uh, atmosphere comes but in return if we have some written proof that will be considered as more legal validity oral communication is assisted with non verbal cues right now you can listen me you can watch me you are observing my facial expressions you are observing my gestures so you are understanding very well but in written communication it is it has low uh, cues it depends only on words no other cues except full stop comma and other punctuation marks so written communication takes time to interpret but oral communication is understood faster as it is assisted with some non verbal cues and in oral communication we get immediate feedback that is i ask you a question and you reply so immediate feedback but in delayed uh, in written communication the feedback is delayed for example some message is sent you read it as per your time and you respond to that message after some time so that is why in written communication there is a delay in the feedback. Feedback. so this is uh, the difference between oral and written communication the major one is oral communication has more legal validity than written communication that's the end of lesson number 4 in lesson 5 we will talk on the non verbal method of communication and we will focus more on the appearance thank you so much and see you in the lesson 5